Hey, Prologers, this week we're talking about Swish. Hey, Annie. Um, I'm doing some machine learning stuff, and I want to build an interface for it in Swish. So, shall we go over some Swish basics? Sure, I can do that. I've been using Swish a lot at work lately. Maybe you should show our viewers Swish. So, this is the Swish site. We can make a program or a notebook, and we'll make a notebook. And in it, let's put some cells. Here's a markdown cell. And I'll add some markdown and make some instructions. And for now, they'll just be placeholders. Okay. Rolling 24. And then let's add some program code. Uh, here I'm using the pen and candy example from CLPFD tutorial I did a while back. Um, Timmy has 25 cents and he wants to figure out what his options are for buying candy. Notice at the bottom I put this structured comment in. Um, that populates my list of example queries over here on the right. Now we run the query and That's great, but my users aren't Prolog programmers. Shall we add a query cell to make it more friendly? Sure, that's an easy thing to do. Cool. So now let's think about making an interface for non-technical users. Let's embed a query in a web form. Let's add a form that, uh, for how much money Timmy has. Uh, I'll make an XGML cell, and then I'll make an ordinary form and we can style this with Bootstrap. So now we just need to connect the form up to Prolog. We're going to add a script to do it. Let's add a script tag. And then within an HTML block, uh, we have a variable notebook. So we'll use notebook dollar uh, function to find an element. And here we'll attach a click handler. Now we need to do something in the handler. We're going to run a prolog query. And we have a query block. Uh, we have to give it a name so we can refer to it. Uh, let's call it calc gumballs. And now we can call notebook.run. We'll pass it the name of the query to run, in this case calc gumballs and a JavaScript object with fields for all the variables we want to bind. And the final thing, we need to change the 25 to amount so we bind to the value. Now we can call the query from the web form. Cool, so let's think about displaying the information in some other way. So there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, first, you can avoid doing what I just showed you and instead make your own pension call. Notebook.swish will make you a pension and now you have data and you can do a, with it what you will in JavaScript. That's a bit low level. Let's use more Swish to make life easy. Yes, and usually I wouldn't recommend that method. Um, if you're going to show showing data in a form in one place, you're probably doing it in many places. Uh, if you have access to the Swish server, the best way to, is to write a renderer. Cool. The built-in renderers to Swish are useful. You know, you can show data as charts or game boards. It's really neat. But if you want to make our own renderer, at the moment we have to be running our own instance of Swish um, and not using the main Swish site. Yep, that's right. Uh, you can make a renderer do whatever you want, including emitting HTML and then running some JavaScript. If you want to get data back to the JavaScript world, your JavaScript can store it somewhere. Uh, to use it in the notebook, uh, you'll just uh, use renderer as a declarative. Then we just need to write the renderer. It's simple. You, re you register your, rem your renderer using register renderer 2 and then make a new clause for term rendering 3 uh, which is a DCG and then usually that just calls the, H, the usual HTML DCG 
and it emits some HTML. Other than actually making the HTML on the server, that's about all there is to it. Great. Any other tips, Sam? Uh, yeah. So my my application is a dashboard for data scientists to do analyses, and um, there's a, a the query cell format works great for me, but um, but uh, I've got a database connection on the back end, so I needed some global prolog state, and uh, I ended up stuffing uh, uh, making a script tag of type xprolog and uh, stuffing uh, stuffing that state in there uh, along with a session number uh, from JavaScript, and then it comes along when you do the pension query. It's a little bit roundabout, but I think it's all in a state of flux. Swish is a bit of design by trying things experiment. But it feels exciting based on what we've got so far. I find it really useful to at uh, work, and I like making interfaces in Swish. It's fast and it's powerful. So viewers, why don't you share some of your notebooks in the comments? Thanks, folks. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe. And uh, hey, if you'd all start sharing our videos around, uh, that would help us. Uh, so more people could see playing with Prologue.